I'm joined by Justin Jackson of the Lancaster Barnstormers. Justin, you're drafted by the Toronto Blue Jays in the first round of the 2007 draft out of high school. Uh, joined their GCL team in Dunedin at the young age of 18. What do you remember about the beginning of your professional career, um, being a high school kid and then months later transitioning to being a professional athlete? Well, first of all, it was really hot down there. So that's <laughs> one of the first things I'll never forget, sweating and getting a tan like that. But, um, you know, getting into pro ball as a young guy, you learn a lot real quick and you're thrown into the fire. And uh, I just remember, you know, learning a routine and a schedule and getting up at 6 in the morning to play baseball at the beginning. It was tough. But, um, you know, you, you figure it out. Yeah, man. Now, you're a position player coming up in the Blue Jays organization. Uh, for the viewers that might not know, what position did you mainly play, and what type of hitter were you coming up in the minor leagues? Uh, well, I was drafted as a shortstop and played short for about three or four years. And, um, you know, that I, for myself, I felt like I was known for my defense, and my hitting was something that was, you know, hope that it came along. I was kind of a – I had a little bit of pop enough to get me in trouble, yeah. and it kind of <laughs> did. Uh, but, you know, line drive, double hitter when I was locked in, and that was uh, – that's where I was at. Yeah. Then you converted to a pitcher. Um, what led to that decision to convert from being a position player to a pitcher? And who were some of the people that helped in that transition period? Yeah, well, I, I pitched uh, in high school a little bit when I was younger. I always knew I could. And, you know, I had the arm strength. So the Blue Jays, you know, we kind of worked together between them yeah. and my agent and got it set up. I just thank the Blue Jays so much for giving me the opportunity. They gave me, you know, two years to work on my craft and, and pitch with them. And, uh, I'm just happy that I did it. I didn't want to be at home and be like, man, I wish I would have pitched, you know. So it was a great opportunity, and uh, it's taken me this far, and we just keep on going with it. The last season you spent in the Atlanta Braves organization playing at high A ball and double A with them. What are your thoughts on your experience in Atlanta's organization and the opportunity they gave you to play in their minor league system as well as uh, go to their spring training complex in Orlando? Yeah, well, they, they allowed me to, in spring training, get over there with the big league guys a few yeah. times. I got in a couple games last year. It was awesome. I just learned so much. They had a lot of veteran guys and great, great coaching staff that really worked with me and uh, helped me refine my game even more. You know, I my first couple of years I was a thrower because I had pretty good velocity, but I learned as you went up that didn't really matter. You know, and uh, you got to learn how to pitch even when your stuff's not there. So then, you know, that we kind of worked on that a lot last year and kind of developed myself more as a pitcher where I know who I am now instead of just a guy that closed his eyes and throw it. <laughs> Now, currently, you're playing with the Lancaster Barnstormers. You're pitching as well as playing the field with them. Uh, what has been your approach to playing in independent ball for the first time and playing against some good veteran players that the Atlantic League offers? Yeah, well, for me, I feel like this is the highest level of baseball I've played. You know, I got to double A. You know, in double A, you see some really good, you know, talent. But here you see some guys that have been around and, you know, they know. They, they're salty. They know what's, what's <laughs> going on. So, you know, it's been great to learn from them. And I pick up new stuff every time I go out there and play. And it's just been, you know, a great – it's been a blessing to be here, really, yeah. and uh, just be around these guys. Yeah. Now, when you're not playing baseball, what do you like to do outside uh, from the field? Well, a lot of different things. Uh, video games, music. <laughs> I do YouTube, yeah. which I'm sure we're going to talk about here in a yeah, second. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I, I like to be – I'm a well-rounded person. And I don't want to be, you know – caught in one shell. I'm Justin Jackson, not the baseball player, but just mm -hmm. Justin Jackson, the person. I have a whole lot of uh, interest. So, yeah, that, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And like you just said, I want to talk about the YouTube channel. You obviously you're well known for your baseball vlogs that are pretty popular. <laughs> what has been your inspiration to start those baseball vlogs and talk about the time commitment and yeah. um, you put into making those videos and as well as editing them? Yeah, well, it started in February of this year. I was like, man, I, I want to start making some YouTube channels. I got uh, interested in a guy named Casey Neistat, yeah. who I, I know a lot of people know him. But his vlogs are amazing. So I was like, man, I think, you know, the baseball season would be a great place to start doing that. So I started that up. I also have a thing called Dirt on the Diamond, which is, you know, baseball chat similar to this. You know, I have with my teammates or other guys just about baseball for the younger kids, yeah. getting the information out there. And my Ball is Life vlogs, you know, I put those up. I try to put them up once a week. And just show my life and show, you know, the ins and outs of what goes on off the baseball field for a professional athlete, for a professional baseball player. And uh, it's fun. I, I edit. It takes me anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour to edit the video. I shoot it as I go. And it's just another creative outlet. Also, my music that I actually have a studio set up and all the music on my vlogs is all original beats for me. Awesome. So... It's just uh, a great outlet for me. That's really awesome. Hey, Justin, appreciate it so much. Yeah, All the best to you, man. Thank you. It.